The next basic element we're going to look at that involves statistics is what's called a sampling error. And a sampling error is pretty much just a mistake made in a question that you would ask somebody on a survey. It usually would lead to a biased result, and we know now that a biased result is an unfair result. So we're going to look at two questions, and we're going to decide if there's an error, if it's biased, and if it's not, well, we can just leave it alone. So let's look at our first question. The first question being asked of you on this survey is, what is your favorite TV show? Now, if we really think about the question, it seems pretty straightforward. Nobody's trying to create a bias one way or the other. We're just being asked, what is your favorite TV show? And then you can just tell whoever's asking the survey what your favorite TV show is. It could be any TV show out there because it's your favorite. So having a question like this, we can say there really is no error because it's not creating any type of bias. Now let's look at the second question. The second question being asked of you is, would you rather watch a great show like The Simpsons or a stupid show like CSI? Now there's two key words in here that are really popping out that are gonna tell us that this is an error. And it's whenever you're given a word that tries to influence you. Here it says, would you rather watch a great, there's the first word that pops out at me, a great show like The Simpsons or a stupid, there's the second word that pops out, stupid show like CSI. Well, I found these two words that are really trying to influence me, so I know that there are two errors in this sentence. This is a flawed question because it's gonna create a bias. It creates a bias because it's telling you that this show is great and this show is stupid. So if you're asked this question on a survey, most people are more likely to agree with the show that's being called great than a show that's called stupid. So we have our first question here. There's no bias, which means there's no error. But in our second question, we can see that there's a bias here, calling one show great, one show stupid. So we know that this question is definitely flawed because it has errors. Now we're gonna learn not only how to identify a sampling error, but also how to correct the question to make it where there's no bias. So let's look at our next question. We're being asked, do you prefer Taco Bell like most people, or do you prefer Subway? Now, the error here is not a word that's trying to influence me, but it's actually this phrase, like most people. It's trying to influence me. What it's telling me is that most people prefer Taco Bell, so I probably should too. If I don't, that means I'm not like most people. So I'm gonna identify the words that are trying to influence me. Do you prefer Taco Bell like most people, or do you prefer Subway? Now what I wanna do, since I've identified the error, I wanna rewrite this question so there's no bias. This is pretty easy to do because all I have to do is really take out the part that's trying to influence me. Do you prefer Taco Bell or do you prefer Subway? That makes it a question that's no longer biased. So I'm just going to rewrite it. Do you prefer, I'll abbreviate Taco Bell TB, do you prefer Taco Bell? or Subway. And now you're being asked an honest question that has no bias and nothing in the question to try to influence you one way or the other. So remember, there's two steps. First step is to identify either the words or the part of the sentence that's trying to influence you, giving an unfair bias, and then rewrite it where we take that part out. 